Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi and today we continue with our topic of discussion and uh, the topic is uh, reproduction in plants and animals. So today we are going to discuss the menstrual cycle. The menstrual cycle, uh, this is a cyclic chain of activities uh, that occurs within the female's reproductive system. within a period of 28 to about 30 days. So it's a cycle that takes about 28 to 30 days. It's a chain of activities that occur within the female's uh, reproductive system. And uh, this uh, cycle, I'll divide it into four parts so you can say that this cycle is divided into four parts i.e. we have menstruation we have follicular phase ovulation and luteal phase. So we'll uh, divide the cycle into four parts. That is menstruation, follicular phase, ovulation and the luteal phase. So we'll summarize that as a cyclic diagram. So we'll start here. We have menstruation. Then we move to the follicular phase. Then we have ovulation. And then we have the luteal So those phases proceed in the direction indicated. And the entire cycle takes 28 to 30 days. So if this is uh, day 0 or day 28, then it goes back to the same. Uh, so in that uh, description, I'll start from menstruation. And you can see that uh, this is accompanied by discharge of blood. And tissue debris from the uterine wall. So menstruation is a period where there is a, a discharge of blood and tissue debris from the uterine wall and that is at the beginning of the menstrual cycle. So that is the menstrual cycle that we have 
indicated the complete cycle showing all those activities. Now, so that menstruation is also accompanied by is also accompanied by nausea, feeling like uh, vomiting, uh, abdominal pain, headache, ETC. Those are some of the uh, the activities that uh, that accompany. Uh, the, uh, the menstruation, which is the discharge of blood and the tissue debris that is happening there. Now, we go to the next stage. Number two, we have the follicular phase. And uh, this is the point whereby now the follicle stimulating hormone is released. After menstruation, uh, we have the follicle stimulating hormone being released. So in the follicular phase, FSH is released by the pituitary gland. And we know that it is stimulates A, one of the things that uh, we can change the numbering a bit, we can say that let this be A, that, then this is B. So it stimulates the follicle stimulating hormone just like we saw earlier. It stimulates the development of graphian follicle. It stimulates the development of graphene follicle. Uh, number two, of course, we said from uh, a primary follicle. Number two, what the follicle stimulating hormone does once that uh, once it is released, it stimulates the ovaries to secrete estrogen to secrete estrogen and at that point <coughs> still at that point at the follicular phase the reason why estrogen is uh, being secreted is to stimulate the repair of the uterine wall that had peeled off or that had slurred off during menstruation so you are saying that uh, estrogen stimulates that is still in the follicular phase. Estrogen stimulates uh, one, the repair and healing of uterine wall. Uterine wall, also known as the endometrium. Repair and healing of the endometrium that had slurred off during menstruation. That had slurred off during menstruation. And number two, uh, the estrogen stimulates the pituitary gland. To release a luteinizing hormone. To release a luteinize, a luteinizing hormone. So that is now what takes us to the next phase. And this is the ovulation. So we go to the next phase. And this is now ovulation. And uh, at this stage, or at that phase, 
luteinizing hormone stimulates the maturation and bursting the maturation and bursting of graphian follicle maturation and bursting of graphian follicle to release the ovum and that's what you are calling ovulation so stimulates the maturation and the bursting of the graphian follicle to release the ovum and that's what you are calling now the ovula ovulation phase then you go to the last phase and that is the luteal phase and here after after ovulation We need to follow this very well. It's happening in stages according to that diagram. After ovulation, the remains of the graphian follicle, the parts of the graphian follicle that have remained after releasing the ovum are reorganized to form corpus luteum also known as a yellow body a yellow body called corpus luteum and the corpus luteum secrets another hormone called progesterone so just to have a recap of the the entire cycle we want to go back a bit uh, we are say that uh, menstruation occurs there is discharge of blood a tissue debris accompanied by nausea headache abdominal pains etc and then after that we move to the follicular phase where follicle stimulating hormone is released by the pituitary gland and the FSH stimulates development of graphian follicle from primary follicle we saw that earlier also stimulates the ovaries to secrete estrogen we also saw that earlier and then estrogen at this point uh, stimulates the repair and healing of the endometrium uterine wall that had peeled off during menstruation and then also stimulates the pituitary gland to release luteinizing hormone luteinizing hormone is now the one that causes ovulation the next stage and then uh, after causing uh, ovulation uh, there is the remains the graphian follicle has two walls uh, it releases the inner wall which is the ovum and then the shell that remains is the one that is reorganized to form a yellow body called corpus luteum and this corpus luteum is now the one that makes this to be called the luteal phase and the corpus luteum secretes another hormone called progesterone so next time we shall continue now with what is the role of progesterone as far as the luteal phase is concerned so from there we are going to have an assignment capturing what we have discussed so the first question in the assignment what is the role of a estrogen b luteinizing hormone uh, c follicle stimulating hormone and uh, 
uh, follicle-stimulating hormone during the menstrual cycle. So all those roles should be during the menstrual cycle, not during the secondary sexual characteristics development. And then lastly, what is menses? So we'll stop there. Until next time, goodbye. Thank <music> you.